Hello, YouTube. What's going on? It's Kevin here, West Virginia Piper. And I just went to my mailbox. I found a whole bunch of stuff in there. I've got this. And this. And this. And this. Which I've already opened. Actually, I've opened all of them. Except one. Um, so, yeah, Yabos and Yapos galore today. And I figure I'd share them with you because that's what we do. First one I've already opened is uh, the, that Amazon box. And uh, I got this because when I went to the meetup uh, last weekend, um, <clears throat> I saw that Andrew and Ramon both had the same pipe pouch. And with uh, me coming on uh, a vacation coming up, I'm going to be going out to Colorado here in a few weeks. Um, needed something to transport, so I got this. Uh, it was relatively inexpensive. It's, uh, I think it's vinyl, fake leather, whatever it is. But it holds four pipes. I don't, this is my first pipe pouch. So it holds four pipes, as you can see there, one, two, three, four. Uh, it's got ample room for tobacco and uh, accessories and stuff. comes with this pipe, I'm sorry, tobacco pouch. Um, most likely won't use it, but it's there if I want to, which is cool. And it slides into this little loop here. Behind that is another pocket. You might be able to fit a small tin in there, but I'm not 100% sure. But then you've got um, space behind that to put uh, pouches of tobacco if you want. There's a little slot here you can maybe stick a tamper in. Um, it's got this little handle. Unfortunately, it's not removable. I was hoping it was, but it does have a little place you can tuck it in. Uh, so on the outside, it's got a pocket on this side. And it's got a pocket on this side, and the whole thing wraps around, and it's got magnetic snaps, which is awesome. I love that. Um, of course, you have to zip it up first. <laughs> I don't want my pipes falling out. So yeah, it's cool. So I'll be all set to go. I won't have to worry about my pipes uh, just being loose in my luggage and whatnot. So that's cool. Got that. Um, we relight here. Smoking my country gentleman with some downhill early morning pipe. Wow. Speaking of country gentlemen, inside here was this box, and inside this box. Is this bag, and inside this bag is hold on, it's a custom corn cob, country gentleman. Very nice, and uh, this is not for me though. This pipe will be going in my prize package for my upcoming uh, 100 sub contest announcement. So there'll be this pipe along with some other goodies and I'll make a separate video for that but I did want to show you guys the pipe so you could be the lucky winner of this pipe. Stay tuned. There's the card. And I put a little uh, tamper in there also which is pretty cool. So, whoever wins this pipe is, uh, you're going to get everything that came with it. So, the card and the, the tamper, you will, will be in there with it, too. Okay? Cool. So, that, that's nicer than I thought it would be. I never ordered from Custom Corn Cobs. This one, I bought from Aristocob, and then I bought the stem from Walker Briar Works. Um, but after seeing this, I think I'm going to have to order myself 
one from Custom Coin Cobs also. So cool. Yeah. Hope you're all having a good day. By the way, it is uh, after a nice spell of really nice weather. Today is raining and kind of cold. Okay, so let me throw that back in the box. All right. Then there's uh, you've all seen this already. This is uh, from the Google uh, Tin Pass. This is the uh, the pipe that Rick Black so uh, generously included in the last pass, and uh, that Steve L was uh, also so generous to uh, to pass on. Um, so I'll do the uh, unveiling there. You've all seen it. Oh my goodness. Right on. So, we'll see how this goes. I've never seen one of his pipes before. This is a really nice little pipe. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize that these were uh, rubber around here. That's a nice, feels nice. It's a nice little touch. Um, it's got that little ring in there. Nice stems, kind of uh, like a metallic orange. If you, you know, in person, can't really get that from, well, maybe you can. But beautiful pipe, Rick. Uh, thank you, Rick, and thank you, Steve. Um, I never win anything, so I don't know how my name got drawn. I'm, uh, this is amazing that I got this pipe and that I wanted. I don't, speechless, so it's pretty awesome. My first Rick Black pipe. All right, and then finally, last but certainly not least, uh, let's close this window here because my neighbor's parking. Um, so this is from Daniel Shore. He made a video. Um, he was uh, making some tampers, and I made a comment to him about how I liked it a lot, and I would want one of them, and without hesitation, he PM'd me and asked me for my address, so awesome, brother, thank you, and uh, he put a sweet note in here, short but sweet, <laughs> Kevin, here you go, <laughs> that is a great drawing, bro, I love it, oh man. Smoking a pipe, got the Pipes and Cigars catalog going. And uh, he says, here's a couple of tampers you can have. Leave Lang around. Thanks, buddy. Danny. Danny. And honest, dude, I can't even get to the tampers, brother, because of all the extras you threw in. So, um, looks like some Pennsylvania Dutch treat. Love this stuff, Dan. Thank you very much. Uh, we got some, what is that? Oh, plum pudding. Another wonderful backy. Good grief. Dude, this was more than generous, brother. English Oriental Supreme. Honestly, don't know who makes that. I don't, I've never had it. But I like the sound of it. This is an unnamed tobacco. Danny, if you're watching this, maybe you can shed some light on that, but it looks good. Let's smell it. Maybe I can kind of get an idea of what it might be. Mm, it's got a really mild ar aroma, so I can't really tell. It smells like some sort of English something. I have no idea. Let's see. Video is getting long, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, what's this? Peterson's 3P. Well, look at that. I've never had a plug tobacco before. If that's what they call this. That looks awesome. Danny, you really didn't have to do that. Yeah. That's awesome. And then the tampers. Wow. Dude.
Awesome. Okay. This first one is a uh, two shell casings put together. That is freaking awesome, dude. It's a uh, 357. 223, I think I can on the other end. Fits like a glove. Bro, that's brilliant. Nice. I like that texture on there with a 45 on there. Awesome. And this looks like a 30, yeah, 38. Cool, bro. Look at that. It's a little bit longer. Dude, I love these, Daniel. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, you've, you've really outdone yourself here. Um, extremely generous, and I really appreciate it. Um, awesome. Wow. What a way to start my day. This was great. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, I uh, just wanted to share with you guys and check in, say hello. Thanks, for everybody, for watching. I have not been really watching a whole lot this week I've been really busy unfortunately I'm going to try to catch up on your vids but uh, thank you again everybody who's watching and subscribing my hundred contest will be coming up soon I'll make that announcement uh, as soon as I get some time I'm also waiting on uh, one item that I'm gonna throw in and once I get that um, I'll get it all together I'll show you a video of what you're gonna what you can win and I'll let you know what the uh, the rules are going to be. I'm going to not try to make it too uh, too complicated um, because I don't want it to be, you know, I don't I don't want it to be like a month long thing because I'm I'm going to be out of town. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you to Rick Black. Thank you to Steve L. Thank you uh, Daniel Shore. Um, Thank you to El Magnifico for uh, recommending this bag, and to uh, to Andrew the Lurker, same, and uh, Custom Corn Cobs for making a beautiful uh, stem for that pipe that somebody will be lucky enough to win, hopefully, uh, here pretty soon. So, guys, have a wonderful day, uh, be safe, and uh, until next time, take care.